Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Pisces, my beautiful mermaids and mermen of the sea. Brenda here, Brenda Tarot, and this is your general tarot and oracle card forecast for the week of December the 27th to January the 2nd. Moving into the new year of 2022, I hope you had a beautiful holiday season, a beautiful Christmas, and a happy, happy new year. Now, I need to apologize for the delay getting these out. I'm going to be late this week with, uh, with these kind coming out for you for the simple reason that um, my Google and my email went down because I tried to insert my password in too many times and they locked me out for 48 hours. So I need to change my password. So today they're supposedly getting a hold of me to send me the codes to do that. So put a prayer in for me, please. All my beautiful Pisces, you have this power to do that, that I get up and running again because that affects my YouTube channel. I can't do what I do out here in YouTube without my Google account being running and up. Okay, so enough of that. Um, I want to move on and see what we've got for this week for all of us because you know I'm a Pisces too, you know. And as the cards were coming out, I have to tell you, this is a very, uh, a very strong, strong indication this week that there's going you're making changes in this new year Pisces for some reason you have been doing this gradually steady you know steady progress all along changing things up but you're still definitely going to be making some profound changes in your life for the better giving things up that no longer serve you going forward finding the resources out there to help you move forward so let's see what we've got here your all over energy is the moon and it is changes in your life okay the moon is it does stand for Pisces uh, in the zodiac and in the tarot deck but this is an oracle deck and also you know it is you and it's so true that this card would come up for you so you're making changes you're finding out information you're tapping into resourcefulness that's going to help you move forward with the information you need to go forward in a progressive positive successful way so this is an excellent message that should come in with this reading anyway now, coming in in your first place position here, where the energy is you could be right now, is the Ten of Swords with the Hangman on it. So the hangman is shadowing this and you know it's 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 telling me that you you know you felt as though you were stuck tied down in a position that you you couldn't move um, for some of you uh, but now you're up and the only place you can go when you are down like that Pisces is go up now Pisces you're either swimming upstream or downstream you're never in the, <laughs> in the middle here of balance so I do think that you've decided yeah you know what I'm changing things I'm moving in a new direction I'm up on my feet again and I'm going to go where I want to go but you're not running yet okay because this card is also you know it says you're not there yet but it's the worst is over and you're up on your feet going in the right direction you may still be contemplating processing and working on issues here because the hangman is about a pause state of action your pause you know uh, for some of you could be indicative of what we're dealing with in our world lockdowns shutdowns you know you can't do this you can't do that you can't move fast you know everything's being affected in our world right now my particular one <laughs> could be my google account that's being locked up on me so I can't get this reading out as I would normally do but I'm not going to worry about it because I do believe that this will get you know the, my resources will come in and I'll be able to move forward but you're moving forward Pisces no matter what the case is you're making changes you know you may have felt that you're held down betrayed stabbed in the back in a situation in the past and I know I was <clears throat> but it was about three years ago and I've moved on and maybe some of you are have dealt with that in the past right now you're in that process you're you know you're letting it go you've thought about it long and hard and you're ready to hit the ground running and you're going to be going in this new direction now in what's coming up next for you is the knight of wands and the ten of wands so basically you've made a decision here something's happened and shifted very quickly because this is fast moving action when this particular night shows up it means that speeds picking up momentum's picking up in the in your energy level around you and something you know maybe coming in very quickly that might be of an urgency that you have to act on um, you know don't delay go go and act on it you might be having to sign uh, you know maybe you're signing a lease maybe you're signing a mortgage maybe you're signing uh, legal documentation uh, that has to be notarized whatever the case is I think you're going to be moving towards something very quickly going towards something fast now this particular knight could be your knight in shining armor that comes charging in my beautiful Pisces on his steed to sweep you off your feet as well so you could be getting a fast moving energy coming in in the form of a fast moving relationship now with this is the ten of wands and the ten of wands says you pushed yourself very hard towards a goal here something you were doing over 
overworking yourself, being a beast of burden, basically. But you've made a decision now. You push through it. And you made a collective decision that you're not going to allow that to happen to you anymore. You're going to let go what doesn't serve you. You're going to lighten your load here now. You've reached, you've reached the pinnacle. You've reached the summit. Now you're coming down the other side. And things will become much easier for you to traverse and how to handle here, my Pisces. So expect the energy around you to shift and get much better. Don't be too proud to ask for help when you get yourself in this position. You know, where you overburdened yourself or you took on the burdens of other people or yourself you brought on more work than you needed you, you know and now you've made that decision not going to do it again now in your obstacle position you have the hermit and you have the page of pentacles so the page of pentacles is shadowing this you've been thinking about something you're on a new journey and i think it's about the changes that you're going to be making coming forth on your journey the the hermit is about going within getting the answers within meditating manifesting what you want taking time to process things in a quieter more peaceful spiritual manner um the hermit also could be a mentor you could be mentoring other people and teaching other people to do something Pisces uh, and others you might be seeking out a mentor that's going to show you the light you have the ability though Pisces you are an innate healer you're psychic you have empathic abilities and you have that ability to light the path for other people so you could be taking on uh, people that you want to mentor and help out as well now I have to say the hermit is also it represents uh, taking a time out from a relationship, whether it's a friendship or a or an emotional and loving relationship. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean it's permanent, but it might be you need some breathing space. You need to just step back and think about something here because you do have that hangman there. Now, you've got on top of that, you have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles is beautiful message coming in to do with, um, you know, finances, uh, you know, good messages, good news about finances. So I do think that you're going to be hearing good news about money. Money. I think you're going to see money improving in your life. Pisces, maybe you're going to be doing more, um, you know, affirmations, more positive affirmations, uh, more scripting, um, you know, things like that, that is going to shift your energy around you to walk that path of positivity. And generally you do, Pisces, but you're either swimming upstream or down. You're either laughing or crying. That's how you are. How you are. And you're the most sensitive sign because you're comprised of all the other 11 signs. So you're bound to feel these emotions uh, up and down all the time but you could have been taking yourself aside to think about what it is you're going to do here and I think you might have been thinking about money manifesting money thinking about it working on it uh, and you're going to hear good news about it now for others you could be helping yourself out by maybe getting a degree a diploma adding to your resume uh, the experiences that you have on there that could help you to build up a better income as well but this is always good news um, I think you've taken time here and I think you've got I think you're tapping into your higher self and you're going to get what you want and that is staying positive and manifesting what you want okay Coming into your uh, possible, um, you know, strengths and resources you have the king of cups and you have the death card so i think you know you're going to the strength is going to come in in the form of another water sign cancer pisces or scorpio someone who has water in their sign um and they come in uh, very generous and want to offer you some heartfelt advice maybe pisces you're going to be the counselor but maybe you're going to receive counseling for others. Uh, this person cares about you. Um, they do it out of the goodness of their heart. It's almost an act of charitable act here. Um, so if someone comes in, take their wisdom. They could be mature. They could be older. They could be male or female. They could also just be so experienced that they are able to uh, to convey that information to help you as well. So take it. If someone comes in here, take that. Now, again, this could be you. You may be stepping up to help someone else with your advice, your counseling, your, um, you know, teaching people coping skills, whatever the case is, Pisces, because a lot of you have that ability to do and part and, and convey that information or healing towards someone else. Beautiful. You're, you know, something's happening here, Pisces. You've got the death card and that means you're moving on in a new direction. Um, I do think that you're going to be able to step up and move in a new direction now. You have been doing this all along, and I talked about that here right from the very beginning, changes in your life here with your all-over energy card here. Walking away from things that no longer serve you. <clears throat> you know, something might have uh, outlived its its shelf life. You know, maybe something outlived its welcome. Uh, maybe you finished a project. Maybe you finished a phase in your life that you now have the opportunity to open new doors here and walk through them, embrace them. Change is always good, Pisces. 
Pisces. If things, if things, you know, for every reason that things happen to us, it's a lesson we've learned. And, you know, I do believe that that's what life's about. And we're always learning so that we can evolve and grow and expand. So you're moving in a new direction again. Or continuing to move in this direction. Now, your outcome card, your potential outcome card is that of the Emperor and also the Five of Pentacles. So... <clears throat> Pisces, you're, I do believe you're taking control of your emotions now. The emperor is a leader. He steps up. He can teach. He can convey uh, information. He's articulate. He plans his moves. Um, you know, <clears throat> he's a very, very strong leader. So I think, Pisces, you're stepping up into your leadership role here. You're taking command of your own life now. You are you know, you've re regained uh, the power within yourself to go for the things you want. I think you're, you're going to tap into the resources here that are going to help you. I think you realize if you want to make more money here, if you're feeling lack and loss, and if it's in the material part of your life, you've got resources to tap into. And I think you're stepping up and being able to convey that and take control of your emotions now and move forward, being your own leader. Some of you might be um, <clears throat> opening up your own business, or maybe you've got a passive income coming in, or working harder on your own business. But definitely don't be afraid to stand up and speak, wait, speak your mind, okay? So if you're doing the talk do the walk as well okay combine the both Pisces stay stand strong because you have that ability to do that don't allow yourself to feel as though you're on your own this is a card that says you feel left out in the cold you feel on your own you feel lonely you feel orphaned you may feel lack and loss but you have resources here look at him he's he's found the help that he needs he's getting the counsel he's getting he's getting the uh you know the what he needs here and remember I talked about this king of cups uh Pisces getting counsel here getting help getting advice so that you don't have to worry anymore about whatever it is you're concerned about. If it's money, if it's a relationship, if it's your health, whatever it is. It, Pisces, you invent things to worry about. You worry about everything. And it's difficult for you not to because you're an innate healer. You want to heal the whole world. And that's just part of who you are and your makeup. But ask for don't be too proud to ask or lean into those that support you as well, Pisces. You are so strong. <laughs> You're so strong, Pisces. Even though Pisces is the shy sign. When you find your niche, man, there's no stopping you. It's, it's amazing. Okay. Your final outcome card, the surrender. Surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take relaxing breaks and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy therein. So maybe, you know, we've all been locked in, right? We've all been, uh, you know, held indoors. You know, we've been doing things in small groups and whatever. <clears throat> and sometimes we need that freedom. You are a fish, Pisces. You're used to having all this beautiful ocean to be free to go wherever you want to swim. And maybe you've been feeling confined lately. Get out. If you're at work, take your lunch hour and get out. Even if you just get out of the office, the closed in brick and mortar uh, environment. Maybe you need to get away from the computer at your home if you work virtually. Maybe you just need to get out. I mean, I get out and I walk my dog every morning faithfully. So that at least gets me out once a day. Um, I'm quite happy to be homebound, actually. That's who I am. And a lot of Pisces feel that security within their own little sanctuary like that. But this is saying that we need to get out there more. We need to get in nature. Nature is a healing element. We need to feel the energy. Everything is energy around us. And definitely nature is. So to get out there. And, you know, these people that used to listen to trees and hug trees, you know what? We all thought they were a little crazy in the 60s uh, and the early 70s but I'll tell you something they're not because trees make noise they can they can send out their roots underground to even other species of trees if they know they need the nourishment to heal them so get out in nature enjoy mother nature whether wherever you are if it's the snow if it's sun if it's the beach if it's the woods if it's just getting out in your own yard you need to do that well, my beautiful, beautiful Pisces, there's definitely changes occurring here. I think you're working on moving forward, uh, continuing to move forward. You've, you've, you've changed things up here. Things that ended uh, have, are, you know, you're definitely going forward in a new direction and embracing that new beginning to be the leader who you truly are. So, you know what? Yeah, I would definitely say you're moving forward in a very progressive direction. You know, you 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 had this happen to you in the past but right now you're you're in the mo you're going forward in a good direction so my beautiful pisces i wish you a beautiful day remainder to today and a very optimistic week here to look forward to and always remember that i stand only in this circle of love and light for you and i send you many blessings and much love and let's continue to play safe stay safe and be safe and i'll see you soon <music>